Howdy doody everybody, my name is Rocky and welcome back to Hades Star. You're going to have to bear with my groggy voice, I'm recovering from a chest infection, throat infection, whatever it may be, recovering, still going through, I don't know. So I'm going to be a little more intimate with my microphone today, you're going to notice it's a little closer to the shot, uh, but I really want to start putting out some videos on this game because I absolutely love it. I've spent the last three months basically balls deep in this game, it's the first game I play in the morning, first game I play when I go to bed. Um, it's really, it's really captured my attention. You know, if I actually talk with a really deep voice, you can't really tell that my voice is cracking. Okay, yeah, I guess you can. <laughs> so, what we're going to talk about today is optimal placement of your short range scanners. Now, I'm hoping that people that watch this video or other videos out there or look at other content, this is going to be the first thing that's on your mind because this is what's really going to impact uh, basically the entirety of your game. These placements will impact your overall income throughout the game. It will impact... Um, your hydro use, it will impact a lot in the game. So it's important that you guys start here and then basically fan out from there. Hence why I wanted to start with this, uh, this portion of the video being how do I place my short range scanners? So if we talk about, well, what is a short range scanner? What are we talking about here? A short range scanner is essentially the utility that's going to unlock portions of your galaxy. Depending on the placement, you'll get more value for your buck and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to cover. So um, the overall form of your galaxy is in the shape of a predetermined honeycomb. And from there, you fan out. The way you fan out using your short-range scanners is, is what I'm trying to get at here. So if we look at what I've got open on the screen here, I've drawn out, uh, I haven't drawn out, I basically took a bunch of pictures of hexagons and slapped them together in the form of what your predefined galaxy looks like. So when you start off in the tutorial, which you've probably already done, it's going to make you essentially unlock uh, five sections of that galaxy right off the bat. So you're going to have <clears throat> smack dab in the middle, already five sections discovered. What you do beyond that point is your decision. Uh, basically, there's two strategies flowing around the internet. You've got the circular motion and you've got the spiral motion. So I'm going to cover both of them, what my opinions is on it, and it's up to you how you want to do this. Now, if you're like me and you didn't find this until mid-game, you're not completely screwed. You're not likely going to ruin the game for yourself. It's just going to be harder down the line, and that's still a long ways away. I've been playing this game for almost three months now, and I've only got five short-range scanners. They just progressively get more expensive, of course. So um, the first one I'm going to touch on here is this is what they call the circular um, the circular effect or whatever you want to call it and I've got this article here I found on reddit it was posted by a, a youtuber named Karos time and he did a map here of what he defines as the circular motion um, well I don't know if he calls it the circular motion <laughs> he doesn't actually put a name on it this is basically uh, what he's saying is what you want to do if you're looking long term this is going to be the best bang for your buck now initially looking at this article it can it kind of confused me to be honest I wasn't quite sure what he was talking about because I was like you can't build your scanners in areas where you don't actually have it discovered so what I did was I took my predefined map and I mapped it out um, this here is my version of what he's trying to show and what you can tell from this I've, I've tried to color code it the best I can and even when I color coded it didn't quite make sense to some people that I showed so I made a legend and then the legend is still doesn't really help so I'm gonna explain this to you what I'm seeing here so number one which is equivalent to green is the area that you discover when you place your first scanner that's gonna be your tutorial effect that's what you get right off the bat what you do from there uh, in this circular motion is you're going to put your number two scanner right where the number two is and what that's going to unlock as per the legend is the orange area which is right here so you get three honeycombs if you want to call them or three hexagons unveiled when you place that so moving on from there when you place three you unlock the blue as per the legend four you guys get the idea I think uh, with that short brief description this is the circular effect the reason they call it the circular effect or whatever you want to call it the circular motion is because you do an inner circle and then you start on the outer circle when you're building your when you're building your uh, short range scanners so <clears throat> for this here my opinion is yes this is a long-term plan this is the best long-term but being three months into the game and only having five short range scanners when I look at this if I built my fifth short range scanner right now which cost uh, cost me 120,000 coin for that it's gonna only unlock me two areas which effectively 
uh, I forgot to mention, is going to cost you 120k respectively per area that you unlock. I'll cover that in a second. So I only get two sections at that point, and I know my next short range scanner that I have to place in game is going to cost me 150,000 coin, and that's only going to give me one area in this effect. So basically, three months into it, you're not really unlocking a lot for your buck. But once you get into seven, you're getting back to the threes and covering. So then it becomes m more logical. And the other way you got to look at this too is as you're building your scanners, you do have a percentage to unlock planets. So there is no predefined way that you're going to discover your planets. And effectively, your planets is how you get your income from your shipments, as you may already know. But because you're unlocking them in a circular motion, your your planets are going to be more clustered together, which is more hydro efficient. But then you look at the flip side and you're going to have warplanes anyway. So it again, it comes down to matter of opinion. This for me being three months into it is kind of disappointing because again, when you get to the five, six range, it is kind of minimal. Now I do plan on playing it long term because I love this game so much. So maybe this is something I just kind of flip flopped on my opinion, didn't I? So anyway, what I want to do now is I'm going to actually show you guys the other flip side of it, which is the spiral effect. I think I got to slip. Yeah, two slides there. I didn't actually organize this very well. This is what we call the spiral effect. The reason we call this the spiral effect is because it makes an effective spiral. If you look at one, two, three, four, five, six, it makes a spiral on the outside. And then from there, it's sort of, <laughs> as per the diagram, it, it sort of uh, doesn't line up to your thing, your, your your numbers. But you can see there is a bit of a spiral effect there. So this was originally uh, posted, uh, I guess, a lot of recognitions going out to a gentleman named Matthew 77B, which I'm going to put on the screen here uh, from a Discord channel. So a lot of sources online are saying big shout out to Matthew 77B for coming up with this. Uh, with this design and you know props to you but um, <clears throat> I think this effect oh man I've lost my screen here I think this effect gets you the most bang for the buck out the gate you know you're getting three per color three per scanner all the way up until about uh, I think it's 11 then you start to break down to getting two and only one if you think about this logically, when we look at the breakdown of the cost of the short scanners, because I've been throwing out numbers there for a minute, if you look at the actual uh, cost of the short range scanners, nobody really knows what happens after nine as of yet. Maybe there's, uh, from my research over the past weekend, I couldn't find any actual numbers on this, but nobody seems to know what past nine what happens. <clears throat> People are assuming that if you place a 13 scanner, which both of these designs do not cover, it's going to cost you 10 million coin. So, I mean, thinking about me getting up to that point where I really care about placing my 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th scanner, that's so far off. Like, honestly, it's it's probably going to be a long time. I mean, there's an achievement for being a diplomatic uh, partner for 365 days. So they expect you to play this for years and years. So maybe it's going to take me over a year to get to, you know, scanner number 9 or 10. So do you really want to worry about what's going on long term? You know, I think the bonus, obviously, having it in the group together with the first circular effect is a plus. But... On the flip side, I want to discover more of my, my galaxy. That gives me more hydrogen resources that I can, you know, mine for events like Red Stars. Um, it will also give me the ability to have my planets, I don't know, uh, more planets, more chances of planets, I would assume. Again, the percentage of how you discover them is really unknown. So you've got two options here. I mean, I think I read a third on the wiki page that didn't still make quite make sense to me. So we're going to go with the fact that there's two that I was able to effectively find. The spiral effect and the circular effect. You guys decide what you want to do. I have You have to understand that this is going to impact your game quite a bit. So put some thought into it, please. It's important. If we look at this slide that I keep jumping over, this was how I built my scanners before I actually did any research into this. So the black colors is where I stand, and the yellow, yellow uh, is where I plan to put them because I've started to do my research and you can see I'm going to it, it it kind of affects me around 8 which is going to be a quite a bit of money and then it affects me more around 12 <clears throat> so overall I'm not too upset with the way this turns out sorry I meant 7 7 is where it affects me not 8 7 and then 8's okay 9's okay 10's okay 11's okay so I didn't screw myself too badly with this which was kind of nice but again think about it it's really important 
Anyways, that's going to do it for me. Short range scanner is so important. Remember, if you're playing Haiti Star, it's important to think about this stuff. Um, I'm going to try and post this template in the description down below or something like that so you guys have this template. Otherwise, I recommend going and making it yourself because it's so important. Anyways, thanks for listening to my groggy voice. I do appreciate it. Hit that like button if I helped at all. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Alternative to gunplay, huh? I don't know what kind of playstyle I want to do here. I'm gonna just thoroughly read through these real quick. So we're gonna go back to Excalibur. I think what I'm gonna go for here, I'm